Louisiana Beer Reviews, Bohemia Regent. This is a traditional Czech beer sent to me by Douglas of Virginia. Thank you, Douglas. Got this yesterday, imported by Ico Importers, Mount Pleasant, South Carolina. I'm gonna have to check the website out. Produced and bottled by Bohemia Regent in Trebon, Czech Republic. And it's 5% alcohol, they say, on one website, uh, one of their um, distributor websites, that it's between 28 and 32 IBUs. And those things will fluctuate. 28 and 30 IBUs, sorry. They use Pilsner Malt, Moravian Pilsner Malt, and Aurora, Saz, and Hercules hops. It gets an okay score on Beer Advocate, a 74, a C, with only 78 check-ins. Now, Rape Beer has only 23 check-ins, and they give it a 63 out of 100. They're saying it's just flat-out bad. But in the style, Czech Pilsner uh, style beer, it's a, seven, it's a 94. So they say in the style, it's a 94. Outstanding. But overall, it's trash because they don't like the style, obviously. Um, 62 out of 100 on Untap, which is kind of like B-, I guess, or B on their website, with over 7,000 check-ins. All right. There are some video reviews, not too many. Well, there's a lot of non-English video reviews. So there's only a few English video reviews. Now there's a photograph on the bottle cap of the brewery, old black and white photo, probably from around 1913. <laughs> Aerial photograph taken from an aeroplane. Now he sent me another Czech beer, but, uh, oh, I'm sorry, a Polish beer. Uh, but uh, as you can see, it got smashed on shipment, and there's still some beer in there leaking out. 6% uh, Harness, Jasney Pelney. Um, sorry I, uh, that, that, that this happened because I really wanted to try this Czech malt liquor. Uh, Udo Skonalona Receptura. Bright lager beer. So you can see it dripping out, product of Poland. Oh well, that didn't work out. So let's check out this. Established in 1379, they said this brewery has been in continuous production since 1379. They're showing a crown for the kingdom of Bohemia, the old Habsburg kingdom, when it was part of the Holy Roman Empire and later the German Confederation and then even under Austrian rule, the Habsburg rule until 1918. Okay, Trebon, Czech Republic, pasteurized. Rodini Piobar. Uh, all right, so one of the old, old breweries and they show in metals Austrian Imperator. So they're showing the Austrian Emperor Francis Joseph, who died in 1916. Uh, some other medal I can't make out. Uh, Vienna a medal from Vienna, Austria. Victoria Regalia, Queen Victoria medal. Bud Weiss. Bud Weiss, Czech, uh, Bohemia, Czechia. Austria and Austin, Austria, 1888, 1791, 1891, and another medal says Leopold II, Roy de Belge, Belges. That means Leopold II, King of the Belgians. All right. It's all kind of medals. Nice hiss. Chilly, damp morning. Winter morning. Not exactly comfortable. No wind, at least, but that's supposed to pick up. Oh, nice smoke. Pale. Thick. Um, ivory head. Soapy at the top. It's uh, hazy with lots of powdery sediment throughout and some bigger orange chunks, which I suppose are yeast, and so it's not a highly filtered beer, and some lazy bubbles ascending. 
So it'd be a little dirty, what you call it, but it might give it more yeasty flavor. All right, let's check it out. Aroma, well, not a whole lot of aroma, but there's some uh, barley burn cracker, seltzer cracker. Like um, if it's a, when the, you get these beers that is uh, Reinheitsgebot, meaning uh, German purity law, no corn or rice added, just barley. They have a strong barley flavor. And barley is an intense grain, so it's strong. I don't want to say sour flavor. It's hard to describe if you haven't had it. For American drinkers, the average American drinker, it would be off-putting because it would just be too strong. And they, I can hear them now, it's bitter, it's bitter. Or they would just say it's too rich or too strong. So Americans, their idea of a, of, of a fine Pilsner beer is Miller L-I-T-E, Miller Light, which is... <laughs> It might be a fine light beer, but it's really not a Pilsner. Of course it's not a Pilsner. Yeah, it's triple hopped, but the hop, the, the bitterness unit is so low, it doesn't qualify. A Pilsner should be you know, like this, 28, 30 IBUs. All right, anyway, check Pilsner. Right from the start. Sharp, grassy bitterness, yes. Mm -hmm. Sweet, crackery, barley malt, but not intense, rich, like I said, uh, barley burn. Barley burn, you'll get that in some of these. I'd have to sit and think about which ones, and uh, I'm not going to do that right now. medium body and a very crisp finish Pilsners were developed in Pilsen in the kingdom of Bohemia in the German Confederation in 1842 right by Joseph Grohl a brewmaster from the, the neighboring kingdom of Bavaria also in the German Confederation. The people in Pilsen were saying, uh, according to the legend, you know, you know, you never know what, but they weren't satisfied with the quality of the beer, so he helped them develop a little nicer, cleaner, bitter product because before 1842, really, the beers were strong, a little harsh, not clean, and um, apparently not too enjoyable. So it revolutionized beer because uh, the Pilsner styles took off like wildfire, just like a lightning bolt across the world. So you started having these all across the world. This style it became the most popular style in the world. It still is today, but not with the bitterness. So today it'd be like a, just a light lager style. But Schaefer was a, the first lager in America 1842, Schaefer, they, German immigrants, they, Frederick, Friedrich and Maximilian Schaefer developed uh, that beer in New York City. A lot of immigrants coming in from the German Confederation at that time. I know people are going to say, no, Yingling is the oldest brewery. I know that. 1820s. I said the oldest lager was it was and is Schaefer. Uh, Ballantine is the oldest beer brand, continuous brand, Ballantine since 1840, Newark, New Jersey. You um, can still find it, barely. We had the Ballantine IPA sold down here for a quick minute. Really great beer, so of course, Paps made it to where you couldn't get it <laughs> um, after not long. Now, Yingling made all kind of beers, but they're not continuous brands up till today. They have their premium, which goes back over 100 years, I guess, and all of that. But um, they're the oldest brewery, not beer brand, specific beer brand. Ballantine Ale, oldest beer in America, Ale, Schaefer Oldest Lager. Now, this product here is very good, and this is really old, 7, 1379, not this brand. 
know, like I said, Pilsner, 1842. But the company, they were making all kind of assorted ales, I'm sure. Doppelbox, Hellas Box, and who knows what else. Probably, uh, Weizens, Hefeweizens, and all of that. They make a strong beer. 7.2% this company, but I guess it's not imported to the USA. Love to try that one. This is a good sign. Look at that lacing, the thick lacing. It's like a mousse, a meringue. You don't get that with America, most American mass-produced beers. You will get it at, to some extent with Miller High Life and Miller Genuine Draft, formerly known as Miller High Life Genuine Draft. You will get that. So Miller beers do sort of have that, but um, generally not to this extent, not to this profundity. profundity. So how would I score this? Well, it's like they're saying on rape beer. It's most excellent, but they don't like the style, but oh, well, too bad. I like the style. I love the style. Douglas loves the style. That's his favorite style of beer. There's Euro Pilsners. He's always sending me photos on Facebook of these. I told him, I said, you're, you're, you have a fixation. I said, you're fixated on these. He said, I, I admit that. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for sending this. Sorry about the can, but don't blame me. Blame the priority mail people probably slamming the box down and crushing the can. So I'm going to go with that. 94 out of 100. It's a most excellent beer. You could just drink this continuously like water. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't do that, but I mean, you could. It's so, it's so approachable. It's incredible, incredible. So, laissez les bon temps relay. Keep up the good work, Czech Republic, independent country since 1918. Or, well, I guess semi-independent from 1939 huh, to 89, but... We're going to end this review by saying, y'all go to your local store and try to track down a Czech beer. And I know you can get Pilsner Urkel.